What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic simulator video And if you guys saw the last video, uh, you guys saw me obtain this Mach 1 Mustang I think it's about a 71, 72, 73 somewhere in there uh, We got this bad boy from the junkyard completely junked out and just in terrible terrible condition uh, So we took it We repaired the whole entire body. Uh, we got we were able to salvage two wheels uh, We had to buy two new rims all new tires and so far we have the engine out and ready to go, but that is it. Uh, I also redid the suspension. Yes, yes, yes. Suspension is completely redone. Uh, but yeah, so far, where are we at? Ooh, I think it was 20 grand. Um, and right now, as is, without the engine even in it at all, 80 grand. So it's quite a lot. Uh, we are also doing the, uh, what is it called? Windsor we're doing the Windsor motor for this uh, for this Mach 1 right now, so that's where we're gonna hop right into and I asked you guys in the last video uh, I looked at the comments for the first 30 minutes It was out and more people said that they wanted it performance than they wanted it stock um, And I would have to agree with them. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go with performance parts. I've already bought a few So I'm already kind of ready to go So let's just start Getting these parts thrown in here. Uh, we're gonna see if we can how fast we can build this engine here. No, no, get out of here. I don't want that that regular piston. All right, I hope that actually put the good one in there. Yep, I think we're good now. All right. Yeah, we're gonna see how fast we can build this bad boy here. Why do we have two extra pistons? I must have bought a bunch for a V6, not realizing. Weird. Alright, so yeah, this is the Ford Windsor motor. I've never built on this motor, but I mean, I'm assuming it's like all the other overhead valves. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. It's push rods, I'm pretty sure. Well, it's obviously push rods. I don't know, I just don't really think there's probably much difference between this one and the last. Uh, where's that? I can't see that. Let's get our rod caps on. So bottom end of the engine is the exact same as all the other ones. We need two more crankshaft bearing caps. Main shop. We'll go to crankshaft. Crankshaft. Uh, let's just do bearing. Just do bearing cap. We'll find it way faster. Two of those. Por favor. Oh, we need to do a Porsche soon, too. So I have the Porsche DLC, and I'm really interested to see what the boxer motor is going to look like. All right, so we need a... I think we have a filter. Yep. So it's the overhead valve I oil pan. Hey, look at that. Oil pan's blue, too. I like it. I don't think I've ever seen a colored oil pan, actually. Alright, now we can rotate this bad boy. Um, I'm guessing... 800 plus horsepower on this. That's what my, uh, my guess is. Ooh, ignition coils. I haven't done, like, ignition coils in quite a while, actually. Oh my gosh. Coil B. There she is. High power output. Yeah, baby. Let's get this in. And then we need an arm uh, camshaft. Just one of them. Alright, we'll grab the arm for the overhead valve I and the camshaft. I always do this. I always click on it and then I scroll down and it messes it up. I think that was just a V8 camshaft. Yep, just a V8 overhead valve camshaft. Check. And then this, we're just gonna do one of these. V8 overhead valve I. So this will be all the parts that we'll need are gonna be in here. So blue, and ooh, yeah, we gotta get our engine heads too. I 
I6B? Are you kidding me? I bought a V8 alternator already. Dang it. It's a huge waste of money. Uh, of course. V8 overhead valve. I, I didn't click on it again. Okay, we're gonna check the heads before we buy those because these heads are super, super, super expensive. And we don't really have money just to go throwing around. Uh, in the last episode, I actually uh, ran out of money and had, we had to go. We had to sell one of our uh, GTs. All right, so we get two of those for six k a piece. Oof, that's a lot of money. Two of those, um, and then we're gonna get. A distributor with our rotor and where's the cap I don't know which cap we're gonna need we'll wait on the caps okay it's just a regular ignition distributor cap and then I know we're gonna need the clips but I don't know I don't know what clips are gonna oh dang it I don't know what clips are gonna need Uh, yeah, that looks that'll be good. Let's hit clip uh, B. Clip B's. Okay, so B's. That's fine. So we got chrome, red chrome, and baby blue on this. I wouldn't say it's the best looking engine, but hey, it's not bad. Uh, we have to buy our I'll have to buy our own push rods. I haven't had to buy push rods in a while. Okay, I'm just gonna type this one hand because I always mess up. All right, no push rods in here. So in here, we'll get our push rods. We need 16. Uh, 16, and then we also are gonna get spark plugs. No, we don't want to buy them in here. We we'll buy them in the tuning shop. Come on, man. Let's see, sparks. I should probably just buy a bunch of these at once. Eight. All right, let's get the spark plugs in. Mainly because I have no idea what our ignition distribution wires are going to be. Okay, it doesn't even let us do wires yet. Probably got to finish our head and then we can do wires. I'm gonna go buy some rockers. Oh, it's so annoying when they don't have the rocker uh, arms all on one uh, rail. We have to buy each one separately. Oh, it sucks. That performance rocker arms? There's not. Really? I guess I'm kind of interested. They should definitely have performance rocker arms and performance uh, push rods. Should definitely have performance versions. This is probably the most hands on top end of a motor I've had to do for this game in quite a while, actually. Because mostly everything we've been doing are more modern V8s. Or uh, V6s for that matter. And uh, none of them got rocker arms in them. They are all upper. Okay, head cover A for a V8. Okay, okay, okay. So V8 overhead. Oh my gosh. V8 overhead valve I. I'm going to buy the engine cover A and B, I'm assuming. They're probably going to be blue. Yup, they're blue. Okay, so maybe this is not the best color combo in the world. As long as it doesn't show the red, I think we're fine. Yeah, we can do we can do chrome and baby blue. We can do chrome and baby blue. See, yeah, it's not that bad. Nah. I mean the red on the front here is kind of off-putting, but it's fine. Maybe now I can get all the goods on here. Yeah, I'm guessing probably somewhere around the 800-ish. Hopefully 800 plus horsepower. And we might try and do some tuning with a gearbox if we can figure it out. I gotta figure it out first, though. Alright, the last four. What do we got here? Overhead valve, manifold. 
There better be a performance manifold, let me just say that. We need to squeeze all the power out of this thing we can do. I don't know if the, does the gearbox, if you, do you guys know, does the gearbox, does changing the gearbox do anything? Uh, other than like shift speeds, does it change? I don't know if it'll change horsepower at all though. I don't think it will. I think it'll just help it accelerate faster. Not the right pattern, but we'll do it anyways. All right, there we go. Okay, so we need ignition wires for a V8, and we need a V8 overhead valve I intake. Okay, so let's see if we got ignition in here. Ignition wires for a V8. Yes, sir. Then we're gonna do V8 overhead valve I, and we're gonna look for manifold there she is wait a second died I don't know which one we're doing I think I bought the right one okay I did Oof. there are two separate ones I think one's for the other type Ooh, red wires uh, carburetor, four barrel. Give me that four barrel carb. I don't know what's. The, I don't know if the top parts we're gonna need are. Ooh, that is pretty. Air filter base for V8 overhead oh, valve. Ah. Um, I think we're doing a single carb here, but I'm not gonna say we are. Okay, so the base is going to be stock. We'll buy that because I know we're going to need it. We'll buy that because I know I'm going to need it. I don't know anything else, though. <laughs> I'm lost. Where am I? I kind of want the chrome. Okay, there we go. And now we're gonna mix this with a red filter. Air filter for V8 overhead valve. Uh, let's see if they have one in the performance. Uh, they do, 1% performance, I'll take that. Take whatever we can get right now. All right, uh, not too bad. I'm never a big fan of the single carb top for some reason. I just don't like it nearly as much. All right, so we need cam gear. Don't think cam gears can be bought through here. No, they cannot. All right. Cam gear. V8 overhead valve. And probably just the regular timing chain. Yep. There she is. And then I think I have the cover that we need. And I think we're good. Other than our pulleys. No, not even the pulleys, other than the uh, belts, serpentine belts. Don't have this, and we need a water pump. All right. I don't think there's performance water pumps, but I've been wrong before. Yep, I'm wrong. It's all right, it's all right. All right, so water pump looks crazy, so let's find it. Uh, Uh, let's just go with the overhead valve one and assume there's nothing funky going on here. Yep. It's a really bad placement for the hose, if you ask me. Where's that going to go? Is it literally just going to, like, 90 right off of there? I'm just saying. Alright, overhead valve. Holy. Mmm... Hopefully. All right, then we just need serpentine belt. Okay, so there's a specific belt that we're gonna get, which makes it a little bit easier to find it real quickly. We just type this in and we scroll till our hearts 
content and then the other side it's this one right I think so yep then we got this other little guy oh we got a radiator fan I guess that makes sense I do love how these older engines have radiator fans attached to the engine themselves instead of off the block in front of them. It's interesting. I mean, it's obviously not near as efficient, but interesting to say the least. Uh, clutch. Let's get ourselves a nice clutch. This clutch kit here adds around, what, 3.5-ish percent? 3.6-ish? It's not bad. And then we need another bearing. I should probably just buy these bearings in bulk. I wish you, if you I wish you had a what? Oh, I did buy flywheel. Uh, I wish you got discounts for buying parts in bulk. That'd be awesome. I bought the V10 clutch, didn't I? Mm, dang it! I wasn't paying attention. It's all right. We'll just do V10 coming up here soon. Then we gotta make we gotta make use of that one fire. Uh, dang it. And performance. I right, gotta make sure getting these performance parts put on. Alright, there we go. I think this engine is done. Let's see, let's take her off. Thank you. Let's go get our crane over here. We'll drop this puppy. Not in shop entrance. On lift day. Yes. All right. We'll drop this puppy in the Mach One. Brrr, da, da, da. Oh, actually, hey, that red does match the car, though. I did not consider that. The red does match the car. Uh, where's our oil fill cat? There we go. All right. Let's get some. Some soup oil, premium motor oil in this. Number one in the world, apparently. Alrighty, and now that that's in. Brake servo. Ooh, we need to go get ourselves a radiator. Ooh, the Stradale has some performance parts for it. Look at that. Let's get radiator C. didn't take the battery off the tender yet it's gonna say I don't think I've ever had to buy a battery in this game yet I think every car has pretty much had a battery with them and I've always just been able to charge them back up to full life in most cases these batteries would be completely shot after sitting for years like that all right hopefully that's the last time we have to open that hood so far all right let's find out what type of gearbox we need to put in this bad boy so a V8 overhead valve gearbox. Okay, so we don't have the performance one yet. But we will. Where's she at? There it is. This adjust so we can adjust timing. Timings on it. Mmm, look at that good chrome. I'll just say it's polished stainless steel, not chrome. I know that there's not one in here. Okay, yeah, but I just wanted to check. I'm so excited to see how much power this thing makes. I wish they all had custom sounds. Like, it's probably just gonna sound like every other V8. All right, I know we have a few extra drive shafts. So we should be good. All right, I'm trying to think it over. Is there anything else that we need to do for this? Feels good. We got. Spark, we got manifolds. I think. Oh no. 98%. What is not done? <gasps> Small rubber bushings and clip bees. Mm. I know the clip. 
I know where the clips are. All right, let's pop this sucker open. This guy right here. Hey, look at that. I got a plus two quality on that, on that clip. That's actually really funny. All right, clip B. Oh no! Okay, we still have bushings that are bad. Small rubber bushings. I think it's back left side leaf spring. Hey, baby, we're good. Yes, we are right. All right. I was like, oh no, this is going to be really bad to chase down if we can't find it. There we go. 100, 100, 100, 100. The Mach 1 is done, everybody. Off the lift, baby. Get off that lift. Yes, all right. Mach 1 is done. We bought this car for, if I'm wrong, just let me be wrong. I think it was $10,000. We bought it. We restored it. She's up to $156,000 with a $31,000 restoration bonus because we took her from a hunk of junk, literally not even having a top end of a motor, and full brand new Windsor motor. Uh, it was making, this will make 236 stock. So I'm backing my horsepower back down to about 40, four, five, 450, definitely not 800. This is not, not the motor for that job, but she's beautiful. It's worth a lot of money. It's probably one of my top two Mustangs right now. Uh, I do have like a 69 that looks really similar, but obviously not fastback. Uh, time for some dino runs, boys and girls. Uh, dino's over here. Oh, I gotta shut the paint doors. I'll keep that I'll keep that area clean. All right. Let's see what she can do. 236. Mm, maybe 100% gain, maybe. I don't think so though. Come on. Beat 400 for me, please. 400 plus. Hey, there we go. Thankfully. 417. Not bad. Not bad at all she good there we go nice all right we're gonna take this onto the onto a track somewhere let me see let me get this over at the entrance let's go find a track that we want to take this on oh gosh it looks so good I'm so happy we went with red uh, speed track maybe I'm not sure what the speed track is I haven't been here yet I just recently acquired all the DLC for this game. I already had like four out of the 11, but I, I just went through and bought the rest. Yup, this is exactly what I thought it was going to be. It's, it is, what is this, a quarter? Is it a quarter mile? Oh, that's probably a mile, I'd say. Oh no, do they have you shift on your own? All right, here we go. Uh, it's not bad. It's definitely not the fastest thing we've we've drove. Can it hit? It cannot hit 300 kilometers. There's no way. No way. Yeah. See, we're in fourth, and there's no way we're doing it. I'd have to go in and change the gearbox around. I think we're maxing out at 228. Yup. Is that the finish line there? Yes, yes it was. That's probably was that a mile? Top speed is 228 kilometers an hour. That's pretty good. Let's take one of our other ones, actually. I think I have a faster car in the parking garage. We're gonna go take that on a quick test spin actually uh, let's go to parking I think I have a charger in here with this with over a thousand horsepower I don't think I sold it I think I still have it here it was either a charger or a Mustang 
I don't remember. I don't remember. I need to find out. I know we have a truck with over a thousand horsepower. It's a V8 supercharged. Five hundred horsepower. Two hundred and ninety one. Three hundred and ninety. You're not even built. Five seventeen, that's quite a bit. Four seventy three. Oh oh yeah. I forgot our drag Chevy C ten. We need to see how fast this puppy goes. What are the what is this one at? Five hundred and twelve. That's not bad. All right, we're gonna take because we have we actually have, we have a little extra time left in this video, plenty of time. Uh, we're gonna take our Chevy C10 and drag race it. I think it's definitely 1,300 horsepower. That's definitely the fastest truck we have, by far, no doubt in my mind. Let me let me make sure that the gear ratio goes up past 300 kilometers, which I don't even know how much 300 kilometers is in miles per hour. All right, so then this one, I'll drop down, pump these up a little bit. Give them a little bit of bigger gear ratios. Not much, obviously. Uh, no, we'll, we'll do 426. I don't think this will make anywhere near there, but we'll try it. We'll see what happens. We got plenty of runway. Uh, back up to the speed track. I'm surprised it took them this long to come out. I mean, I'm sure it's been out for a while now. Uh, but I'm surprised they didn't release the game with a drag strip. I mean, it's amazing. It's so great. I wonder if I don't hit any side to side if I'm perfect. All right, boys and girls, ready? Here we go. Oh, she is mean. Oh, yeah, this has so much more power to... Holy crap. Oh, my mama. 300 already holy crap that was half the time oh it's a good thing I put that gear ratio up to 450 holy crap we just crashed but oh my gosh that was so fast holy oh my that was that was really that was really fast that was what like over a hundred kilometers faster than the last one and it completed the track in half the time. Oh my gosh. That was just... What the heck? This thing is insane. Does it tell us top speed now? Dang it, it doesn't tell us top speed. This C10 right here, this isn't even the like the actual drag C10 that you can actually find in the junkyard. But this one right here... By far the fastest car we will probably build in quite a while. Why? Just because it has... Yep, just because it's that supercharged V8 in there. Maybe the Mustang will beat it, but I'm not sure. But, guys, we're going to leave the video at that. I hope everybody enjoyed seeing this, uh, like, 71 Mach 1 Mustang being brought back to life from the grave. I think it's pretty, uh, it's pretty beautiful. I, I do like the fastback design where it just slowly slopes up and comes down. I love it. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Even though you don't have a rear windshield, really, I still love it. I hope you guys love it, too. If you did, leave a like down below. Comment down below. Let me know on any other cars you guys want to see. Because I'm still looking for more cars. I'm still trying to fit more Chevys in here. Uh, trucks included. Trucks included. Uh, but until further ado, I'll see all you guys in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.